Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ross with Stammer. And today I wanna to be showing you a quick overview of how AI chatbot fine tuning really works. Now, this is one of those things that can be kind of confusing, but hopefully I will explain it in a way that makes sense in a simple and easy to understand way. So we already went over the how AI chatbots work, essentially, and I'll link the video down below for that. Uh, and I'll also link the uh, link for the mind map down below as well, so you can follow along with this video yourself. Click around and scroll around. But essentially what fine tuning is, is how we're going to train the AI chatbot to be better over time in relation to certain questions. So right out the gate, when you first meet, when you first make your first custom AI chatbot, you got to think of it like a child. It doesn't know what it doesn't know, and it doesn't necessarily know how to act in all circumstances. So we need to tell it how to act in certain circumstances that match how your business or how your client's business wants that AI chatbot to act. And so this illustrates kind of the scenario of a chat session with a user. And then I'll show an example of how we can actually take this into the dashboard so we can actually technically figure out how to fine tune the AI chatbot um, and it's really simple. So essentially it starts out with there's users over here. Like, so for example, if I'm a user on a website, I'm going to start a new chat session with an AI chatbot and I'm going to send my message. That message is going to be sent to the AI chatbot. Now the AI chatbot is built from a few different things, the custom knowledge base and the base system prompt. And if we go up here, we can see that the custom knowledge base is built from the information that you scrape from your website, the text that you copy and paste in, the FAQs, or even documents like PDFs and docs that you upload. So all of that information is used to generate a response. And then the base system prompt is how the chatbot is going to generate that response. So this is the what, and this is the how, so to speak. So when we're fine tuning, we're talking only about this base system prompt. So for example, when you scrape your website and all of your data is uploaded into the custom knowledge base, that information is more static. It's not necessarily going to be needed to be updated all the time. And if it does, all you need to do is retrain your website URLs when you update your website. So that way the chatbot knows to that the information has been updated. But with the base system prompt, this information is where you're fine tuning how the AI chatbot is going to act. So over time, as you have more sessions with in conversations with different users, different scenarios are going to pop up where the AI chatbot is going to respond in a way that's not 100% accurate or correct. And now again, when you first get it started, the AI, it's, they're not going to be 100% correct. And this is why we need to train them and make sure that they're responding in a way that actually is accurate and is representative of the business and in the ways that you want it to respond. And so all that really does, like, like technically, actually what this fine tuning actually means is we're just simply adding in a sentence into the base system prompt that addresses how that behavior should occur depending on what information is in this base system prompt. And then the AI chatbot can be updated and then is now essentially has new guidelines or new rules, so to speak, for knowing how to act. And so once this information is, is sent out, it then gets sent out to the uh, back to the user, which the user can then see in their uh, in their chat window. So this is a very you know rudimentary you know level view, but I hope it explains that when we're talking about fine tuning, it's really just this base system prompt over here and updating it so that way we can make it act in certain ways. And so here's a quick example of how we can see how this works. So for example, if I go into this fine tuning example and I say, write me a story about Jack and Jill, I could say, write me a story about a you know, dog and a cat or something. And it's not gonna, it's gonna say that it cannot write 
a story. And that's specifically because in the base system prompt, I said I have it saying, don't write any stories or anything that is not related to simply answering the questions in your knowledge base. Now, for example, if I take this out and then I click update, and then I click retrain, and then I copy and paste this over, And there we go. So now this will write a story because in the base system prompt, it doesn't have the rule that says that it should not write a story. So another good example of this is the math one. So if I ask it a question, let's say, what is four plus four? It should say math is fun. <laughs> and there we go. And that's because I simply said in here, do, 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 don't answer any math questions and instead say that math is fun. So instead, if we delete this and say, answer any math questions to the best of your ability, and then update, and then retrain. And then we add, we ask it again, you know, what is, you know, four plus 65. There we go. <laughs> I didn't even, uh, that's funny, but, um, but yeah, so you can see how that, that math, you know, math works now essentially. So what this illustrates is you can essentially add, continuously add to this base system prompt different rules or different ways that you want this AI chatbot to act. And that's going to directly reflect how the AI chatbot acts when you ask it different questions when a user is interacting with it. So I hope that made sense. Again, if you want links to everything or examples, you can uh, go down to the links below to get this mind map. And I hope that this made sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks.